Welcome back. FIFA, soccer's governing body, gave a major boost today to those who oppose the Quebec Soccer Federation's turban ban. The organization explicitly authorized the wearing of head covers with some conditions. Now, all eyes are on Quebec Soccer Federation, whose response is expected tomorrow morning. But just how much damage has been done by the ban and the backlash, and should the right to play supersede the right of an organization to make its own rules? Joining me from Toronto is Johan Koss, four-time Olympic gold medalist, Wow. And president of CEO uh, of Right to Play. Good to see you there, Johan Koss. Well, thank you for inviting me on this show. Um, given your background, we'll put aside your gold medals because that's intimidating. Uh, but given <laughs> your background with Right to Play and the work that you've done bringing sport to kids in other parts of the world, what, what did you think when you heard about the Quebec Soccer Federation's decision to ban turbans? Well, I thought it was a mistake. I mean, I didn't actually believe that they actually could come to that conclusion. Uh, obviously, there are no issues in relation to them wearing the turban. And uh, as we know, we should have, every child should have the access. And we know in today, even in Canada, mm. there are children with lack of access to sport and play. And that's the most fundamental, critical element of child development. And banning children because of a turban, that does not make any sense. And, and, and I'm sure you know that the premier in Quebec, Pauline Marois, backed the federation's rules, basically saying it's a federation, it can make its own rules. I wonder what you think of that position and how you think that may have affected Quebec's reputation, even Canada's reputation. Well, it, def it doesn't really help. Uh, I think it, I mean, I think she came from a different perspective, meaning mm -hmm. that from a governance perspective, you yes. should have the chance to, to make and govern your own rule, obviously. But the sport is international. We are following international. And that's the beauty of sport, because it speaks its own language. And every should, should be a participant. So I think it's a confusion between the, the right to have your own rules and governance mm. in, in relation to getting access to every child on the playground. And I think this is, there is no element of security or issues of, of damage or anything like this. FIFA so so you, you, you didn't buy the Quebec Federation when they said it was safety or, or you didn't buy that rationale at all? No, I, I, and I don't do it because I see it. I mean, we work in over 20 countries all around the world with over a million children in activity who hasn't had access to sport in general. And we see the importance that they get this opportunity. We work in the area of war and poverty and disease. And then, you know, we shouldn't be debating this in Canada. We are debating this in areas in Pakistan, Afghanistan, in Somalia, in South Sudan, like where girls doesn't have access because of tradition and culture, where children are not getting the playgrounds. This is where we should uh, emphasize. And we know that in Canada, there are children has high level of uh, problems of getting into sport because of financial means mm. and problems. And we need to give everybody child uh, access. Actually, we did a study last year that 97% of Canadians believe that play and sport is a critical and fundamental part of child development. And sadly, not every child have that access. Uh, what do you think it message it sends to kids, you know, kids who are wanting to play, who, who want to play soccer or other sports about the way adults are, are running things? Well, I think the kids will react themselves. I mean, we heard already that in Quebec we will have teams playing with turbans. Yeah. Just, you know, we will have kids coming out showing, uh, you know, sympathy and support mm -hmm. to the kids who is excluded. I think kids in itself will tell, this is not right. And uh, I hope that uh, the Quebec Soccer Federation will reverse their ban tomorrow and make sense of it all and, and you know, give every ac child access to play and we can get over this. Okay, Johan Koss, good of you to come in today, sir. I appreciate your time. Thank you, Rosemary. Good to talk to you.